Hi everybody and welcome back to Pyre with Curly and Jan. I am Jan and I have a cookie and with me is Curly and he is playing the game. And I don't have a cookie. I am sad now. I am going to cry and wish I had a cookie. Come on, make cookies. I don't care if you cry so long as you win. Okay. We're going up against the dissidents. Yes. Um, there was nothing here. Nothing new. I guess there's new things in the book always. We'll, we'll read that one day. We keep saying that. Maybe we won't. I don't even know anymore. Mm. Okay. Um, well, so one time you said that we were gonna, you were gonna replay the game and try and open all the chapters. And yeah. Then we'd read it. Yeah. Something like that. I mean, if we don't open them all up in like one round, if we have to like multiple stuff. You know what? I can't talk. It's late at night and. Yeah, it's pretty late. Mm, it's the night before Halloween. Mm hmm It is. For me, it will officially be Halloween day in uh, less than an hour now. And so I'm going to finish this last bite of cookie. Curly, continue talking so that I may eat this last bite of cookie. Yeah, and it's two hours for me until Halloween. So mm -hmm. it's kind of exciting. I don't know. I don't really never do much on Halloween. I just stay at home and give out candy. So, and... We don't even get trick-or-treaters. This town sucks. You don't have anyone. And you know what? Trick no one trick-or-treats anymore. Even, like, here. Like, oh. I live in a big city, and, like, we don't get that many trick-or-treaters. I think it's I actually... I know, like, I'm glad people don't trick-or-treat here. This place is, like, a fucking crack den. Well, yeah, like, exactly. It's not like it, no one's gonna go trick-or-treating where you live, because it's like, what are you gonna get, little biggies of coke? I mean, I wish. Wait. We've had this discussion. No one around here has enough money for coke. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's like, I wish. Like, that's what they do in, like cities that actually have an economy they give out cocaine they just, they just give out cocaine <laughs> marry cocaine miss alright mm. there's a spirit of cocaine miss by now having to make preparations for the right has become second nature to your companions they go about the process efficiently and this time in almost total silence oh right we sent our boy home you cannot shake the sense that the routine shall not go on much longer. Pamitha approaches and confirms to you that the Nightwing sigil is set. I want to know what these preparations are. Like, everyone seems to be busy. Everyone has their books and raiments, and the grounds are ready. Everything should be in order. Should be. I hope you're ready for this, Rita, darling. Not just this right, I mean, but whatever's in store after that. Though maybe none of us are. None among us. Not even the dissidents. If all of this really is some test, we're being tested now. You and Pamitha stand together in silence for a time, looking for the stars above to show some indication that the right is to commence. It is taking too long. Concern begins to well up in you. But then... Yes! But then the rock music starts and we know the doggos are ready to go. Oh, I love this song. This is a fucking great song. Oh no. I have to be Barker, don't I? You have to be Barker, yep. My mom just went to bed. She's gonna like pound on my door in a few minutes. What are you doing?! Why are you an upset English and or Australian guy? Cuz you're an angry doggo. On the angriest of doggo. The stars once more have mustered wherewithal to usher in the rites. The sky grows dimmer by the day. The age is ending. Surely you must know by now that you shall never all be free. I know. Yet still you struggle to fulfill some senseless plan. But I digress, of course. Some of us still honor the tradition. Some of us hold dear the teachings of the scribes. The pyres on each side are burning bright. From across the field, you observe the leader of the dissidents approach and remove his mask. Somehow without thumbs. <clears throat> well, now it's time we win another round then, isn't it, mate? Don't know how many more of you... Whoa, fucking Jesus. I, like... He's going through puberty now. 
I know I have cookie <laughs> stuck in my throat. Oh no. It's a very dry cookie and I drank all the milk already. I can feel it like midway down my throat. <clears throat> Don't know how many more of these we got in us these days. So, how about we make this one a real kicker, eh? Come on then, Nightwings. Do your worst. I want to see you try and do some proper damage here. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God. They're all doggos. I forgot. Like... Oh, God. You hate God, us. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh... Fuck the fuck right off. Okay, you know what? We need a fast, a fast, and... Uh, a fast. Bertrand is actually pretty fast. I always forget that. She just looks so slow. She's very... Very fast. Um, you know what? Doomin, you're in. I'm gonna leave. You're gonna leave Faye out of this one? I'm gonna leave Faye out of this one because she's really good. Okay, uh, you know she's gonna get banishment sickness. Yeah, probably. Um, I don't really want to put Tizo in right now. He he just explodes. <laughs> Actually, let's find out what we're up against, really. He's got his little... Okay, he has a bigger thing. Yeah, he's reached full enlightenment. They all have. Okay, and they'll... They have a good chance of coming back. Okay. That's basically it. So, they're not really anything overly threatening right now. Um... Aww, I just noticed Pamitha has the book strapped to her back. It's, like, strapped. Well, so does uh, Sir Gilman. He's, he's like... holding it on his little, like, back hump back home. Uh, I didn't realize she had hers like strapped to her like a backpack. Okay. I'm gonna throw Bertrand in this one and then <sighs> okay you know what I may throw Tiso in here. Boy you want to win because you have a clever title picked. I do have a clever title picked um but god see if he goes having these guys I have no idea anymore. Tizo, you're in. Honestly, at this point in the game, they shouldn't give you banishment sickness because by this point Hopefully. in the game, uh, if, if oh, what did we decide that he he now has to be voiced by Kaba? <laughs> oh God, no. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. No, no, I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it. Can you do it? Rebecca. Rebecca. <laughs> uh. Rebecca, you are the prettiest girl in all of Brooklyn. Will you accompany me to the mysterious wedding today? No. If this is to be your last confrontation with the dissidents, then Tizo vows to make it one to remember. <laughs> Thank you, Tizo. And we'll have soft tacos later. <laughs> My cat my voice isn't that great, but it's kind of cute, so we'll, we'll let it be. All right, all right then, mates. You ready? You ready? Let's make those blasted stars up there go wet themselves after we're through here, eh? Yeah. You know what? I like, I like you, Barker. I would pop my knuckles, except I'm a dog. All right, let's do this. Tizo, go. By, oh, shit. By this point in the story, you could already have like. Oh God. Oh, yeah. That was bad. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we're fucked anyway. Um, by this point in the story, you could already have lost, uh, already have sent back multiple characters. Sweet. Um, you could already have sent back enough characters that you wouldn't even have six left. So I don't think that they can do banishment sickness anymore. Because by this point in the game, banishment sickness would be impossible to add as a feature in the game. Ooh. I wish I knew how the throwing worked because oh man, oh. it's it depends on like the character. Some characters can like just toss it in completely. Jesus Christ, that was so close. Oh man, they got. I mean, I don't I don't know if I care right now. Actually, I, that sounds so weird coming from me because I spend so much time actually giving a shit. But like right now, I'm not sure if I do. That's okay. 
currently has a clever title for this, but I'm pretty sure you could name it that if you lost. Oh my god. Did that, that doggo just do a bunch of damage? My that, screen blocked out. That doggo... That was... Wow. Okay. Oh, come on then. Take this serious, will ya? We're just getting started. I mean, do I care? You care. Stop saying I you're... care. He can... S Holy shit. Like... I cannot... Sorry, dude. I'm just... I don't know. I'm feeling apathetic in this moment here. Well, too bad. Stop feeling apathetic. Sorry. All vanished. With grace. Okay. Oh. He can... Look, look how far his thing goes. Yeah, yeah, it goes all the way across the board. Uh-oh. Alright. We're just wait. I'm not gonna just... I don't know. Okay. Mm. Wow. Well, I don't. I. I mean, John doesn't give a shit anymore. Hi. I. I care. I just like. No, no, it doesn't matter. I. I'm like really weirdly tired right now. Well, well, you shouldn't have played then. Hey, calm down. You had told me you're tired. I didn't realize I was tired. I feel emotionally tired. I guess I've seen us die enough by now that I'm kind of okay with it. The first time, you'll remember, I was an emotional wreck. Oh, yeah. If now I've come to terms with it, maybe you should be a little proud of my emotional growth rather than telling me I should have known beforehand. I'm sorry. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> We showed him good back there, didn't we, mates? That's really all that counts, seeing those sad looks on their puffy little faces, right? <laughs> Once all them stars up there go out, I was thinking we'll keep doing all the right business just for the sake of it, you know? What else we gotta do, eh? <sighs> now, let's get out of here. I forgot that that means Gilman's gonna be sad. Now I am emotionally invested. <laughs> oh, <wow. sighs> Alas, shut up. Alas, that this night's efforts proved too insignificant to stop the dissidents here. They proved a worthy adversary in the end. Ye dissidents. He conducted here with such a fury and such desperation. That we must commend ye for it. <laughs> Despite this outcome, Tizo, go back, go back. <laughs> Tizo wishes for the dissident to find peace in the downside. Aww, we're all like, well, I hope they do well. I'm surprised so much we actually like the dissident. It's like they're good characters. You can't hate when they win. No. I don't think he's a bad guy. He's- he's- okay, so I have- I have a- I, I have, like I've mentioned before, comic ideas. I have a character who's very much like that. Who's annoying even if it annoys himself. He just- his purpose in life is to make everybody else unhappy. And he loves it. Hmm. Back at the wagon after being defeated by the dissidents in the Celestial Contest. By the way, I think we've lost to them the most out of anybody. Yes, we have. Great. We're one to two right now. Damn, dissidents. I gotta give them perks for that. We only beat them in the Liberation right, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Jesus that Christ. One. That was awesome. Back at the wagon after being defeated by the dissidents in the Celestial Contest, your fellow exiles discuss the outcome of the rights in a sullen tones. Hmm... 
Yeah. They are weary, reader. That much is plain to see. But you have farther still to go. Please, come have a look outside with me. Perhaps the news of your next destination may yet stir their hearts to some extent. Some extent. Some. Among the stars... Uh, what? Among what stars remain, shining in the night. One of them now burns as bright as... As bright as ever you have seen. Really? Um, which one? Solium. Already? Yeah. This will probably be your final one. Yeah, like they couldn't just put one. Who is it up against? <gasps> Dalbert? Oh, God, no. Um, I want him to go home. No, no, no. Well, the thing is, like, you can't he... send him home. He's got a son who can't be without him, and I don't know if he can be without a son. Plus, if, I mean, if we do send him home, we could just be like, hey, Almer, Almer, you want to you wanna join us? Yeah. We have an empty spot where Hedwin used to sit, right next to Faye. You can sit right there. But I didn't oh, used to fine. sit next to Mr. Hedwin. Shut up, you do now. What? And you'd be like, oh, fine. <laughs> I like him. I like him, too. The right. accusers. Oh, my God. Why did you think that would make them happy? That just makes us all feel worse! Ugh. The cycle turns even more quickly now, until such time as it shall shudder to a halt. He makes a sound then, almost like a laugh. I forget myself, reader. I should not say such things. The scribes, they would say that one ought to focus on the path in front of him. When we set forth to walk a long and labored path, it can be all too much if we stand back and look upon it as a whole. We may well decide to turn around. But if we begin to walk, whilst casting down our gaze and whilst resisting well the urge to look too far ahead, we may make steady, careful progress. Soon enough, we may arrive where we endeavored. The lone minstrel bids you a good evening. You had best retire for the night, for when first daylight comes, it shall be time again to take to the skies. Thank you for that, lone minstrel. That was really insightful. Yes, thank you. Sorry, I think I just had a really hard time with us going directly into a rights that I was pretty sure we were going to lose because I know how fast the dissidents are. Yeah, I mean, I could have... I keep... Use Gilman's jump more. I don't know why. I just realized hey, that. Hey, don't worry about it. Right. I forgot they're all dogs. Oh, yeah. They're usually all it's dogs like. Go to downside. It's weird. Yeah, they're like one of the only teams that actually has like one character set. Singular species. Mm -hmm. Well, no, them and the uh, Pyre Hearts, but nobody gives a shit. Oh, yeah. They're just whining. And the Withdrawn. Where are the Withdrawn again? Oh, yeah. They were the ones under... Yeah, with me. Gonna go. Gonna go. And the harps were all harps, too. Excuse me. Your wagon feels the... Oh my god, is it Orlac? Probably is Orlac. <laughs> it's Orlac, I can see the image. Um, Your wagon reels from the impact of some sort of massive object slamming into it mid-flight. Sub bitches. Oh. Of bitches, false night wings. Oh, was that Sub voice? Orlac? I don't know. You made him all gruff and sexy. Hmm. I'm gonna be all gruff and sexy. False oh, night wings. Orlac calls down to all of you from atop his wagon. Again, you seek to climb that cursed mountain beneath us. Again, you seek to take my rightful place. I should send you crashing down it, so that you might fall as I have. Dude, I didn't fucking push you. Do you want some coffee? He stares down at all of you. But I shall not. Rather... Is our friendship? Mm-hmm. Because I have a massive crush. 
I ship it. I ship it. I, I had to. I had to be like, Curly, Curly. Let me tell you about a pairing that I think would be adorable. Let me tell you about Orlek and Wolfred. And then I went and I searched, and there's like one user who repeatedly outputs just adorable. What are they called again, Curly? Um, their shipping name is Oralwood. Love it. Keep going. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rather, we shall meet upon the summit ere the last cycle of the rites is ended. Until then, air to the night. Bye! Come back here! Until then. <laughs> Until then. Dude, that's not the end of a sentence. You don't put a period there. You put an ellipses. Where are you going? Finish your sentence! I was chasing him. Thank you. 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 Thank you make landing on the sacred Mount Alodiel after your encounter with Oralek. Oralek spoke the truth. He has a right to gain the summit. When the time comes, Celeste shall deem him worthy and let him pass. While he has transgressed against the rites, he has also already been anointed and prevailed. Nothing in the book, there, nothing is written in the book on this, and liberty ought already be his. For the time, it seems that he has not yet traveled to the summit. Perhaps he is still making preparations with his fellow exiles. When, exactly, Orlek intends to make good on his promise, he did not make clear. For now, you are to confront Dalbert and the fate upon the summit. But first, you must prepare. Alright, well, that's gonna be the end of that episode. All right. Sorry, I wasn't super into those rights. They're just so fast. I already don't know what's going on. Like, I have no idea what what fingers Curly is button pushing with, and like, I don't know what's happening. So, especially when you're fighting an opponent that fast, I don't have an easy time getting into it. Oh, Should sorry. also mention that I don't like sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So games. yeah, sorry I wasn't super into that. That's I got right. in the moment the moment fucking Sir Gilman was Bad. noble. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Well, thanks guys. See you in the next one. Yes. Right. Bye. Bye everyone.